ladies and gentlemen it is in you guys already know what happened with the straight drop situation you guys already know he got sentenced to two years but what you don't know is i really do believe memphis police department justice system all that are hiding the truth because the judge in straight drop case mark norris who is the new federal judge well he became the new judge in 2019 we're gonna break that down thoroughly this man does not want to see straight drop at all and he made sure to announce how he's disappointed in straight drop and how now he has to be in the mix to do the un expectable to straight drop case now ladies and gentlemen we're gonna break this up we need y'all to hit the like button hit the notification bell make sure you rock out with i smoke hip-hop live we cover real news real information real updates we don't cap over here and if it's our personal opinion we make sure to let you know whatever we're covering is our opinion based on this circumstances and real information so it's not just shit out our ass that we make up now we're gonna break this down now this judge mark M morris uh, uh let me say his name properly chuck norris nah i'm just joking his name is mark morris federal judge down there in tennessee he's taking the case a lot of prominent faces and figures have taken this case and that's leading me to believe what's going on who is straight drop who is straight drop connected to behind the scenes i'm not talking behind the streets behind the scenes with these personalities these jakes you know it's a lot of jakes who do a lot of filthy things to be in the up ups with these young rappers these young entertainers these young street niggas now i'm gonna get started by showing you guys who's mark norris first and then i'm gonna break down how they're trying to get straight drop to shut up because if you looked at how they gave him the two years my cousins and friends always been getting ramifications for violating probations we know how that go already we already know how that go now my bros and them is showing the way the violations of that gets you know shut down real quick if you got cases going on we know straight drop was facing a lot of years for multiple different cases he beat all of them which we knew allegedly that tells us something is going on with the state of tennessee and straight drop how you know we showed you paid hitmen's in tennessee all these it's not just speculations only but a lot of these things can be substantiated uh substantiated that you know a lot of uh, officials and service members of the state of tennessee have dwindled themselves down to the corruption side of it and worked with a lot of these dudes now i think mark norris knows something and he's going to get straight dropped to be quiet but let me introduce you who mark is a lot of people are not familiar with him well ladies and gentlemen this is who mark is It's problematic, but it's problematic from a number of perspectives. Um, yet they are here. Yes, they are. So what were you supposed to do about them? You can't send them away, can you? No, but it's interesting that the state of Tennessee joined with a number of other states this week and filed uh, an amicus brief in the Ninth Circuit case um, out of Hawaii. And I've got it right here in front of me. It's interesting that the introduction summary of the argument says, and I quote, after multiple scandals drew public attention to serious flaws in the pre-existing vetting scheme for aliens residing abroad who wish to enter this country with visas or as refugees, the executive branch made a policy decision entrusted to it expressly by Congress. And they go on to support the president's executive order on immigration and refugees. But that was a very interesting sort of admission um, about the vetting process. Now that's slightly different than the, the tech you're on, but it's interesting. I mean, I, I now, some of you guys don't realize what you just watched in that video highlight and what's going on. This man, basically the Senate Majority Leader, Mark Norris, he's been named to 
the federal judge in West Tennessee, if you guys don't know, and that's West Tennessee, but still a federal judge presiding over Young Dolph cases. Well, now nah, he said he's ashamed of what Straight Drop did. He's feeling bitter by it. Before I read more on Mark, let's read what he said about uh, uh, the Straight Drop situation because it's the point that he said, I'm bitterly disappointed with Justin Johnson. We gave him a chance. We've always tried to help him. That also lets me know about the connections with straight drop and the justice system. Because why, why would a federal judge be disappointed strictly in one particular criminal and that criminal alleged criminal that is being straight drop? What, what ties do they got with straight drop that they're disappointed? Now, he said... I'm so disappointed with him with the release agreement we had with him in the courts. He squandered his chance. We've stayed helping him and he left us with no other choice. A federal judge said he was bitterly disappointed that one of the men charged with the murder of rapper Young Dolph violated his supervised release over a previous weapon charge. Now, the officer of the court said... Young, I mean, he said Young Dobbs murder suspect Justin Johnson. We gave him the grace, the, the grace the system gave him. We gave him a lot. Now, according to Action 5, you know, Judge Mark M M Norris gave straight drop an earful at the Tuesday, um, April 12th hearing over his probation violation. So if you guys don't know what that means, it means during this probational period and violation, the judge was making an example of straight drop in front of the other suspects and in front of the world for a reason. They're trying to shut him up, y'all. Painting the picture on an empty canvas is the best way to get people to believe what you're saying. Now, it's a lot that was going on with that. Like, we know Justin Johnson pled guilty to not being, um, he pled guilty to not being regularly employed and missing mandatory drug screenings and therapy, failing to seek permission before leaving a, a, a jurisdiction and being arrested. Now, they know he violated his probation, but they also should understand this is one of the most serious case you're going to go through in your life. If he failed his probation, it should be something in the appeal that he'll get the win because his life was endangered. He was on the run because people are saying he killed this great Memphis legend. It's a lot that was going on. Now, Johnson pled guilty. We know that, but he could have been forced also by this Mark Norris taking over the case. It's a lot of high power people involved in this case so we don't know what's going on behind the scenes we don't know who's who's telling who to be quiet not to say anything about these cases and situations now the travel and the arrest are connected to the young Dolph murder i want you guys to know that his violation of his case is being connected to the young Dolph murder but they're trying to make you guys think it's two separate cases it's a separate situation but best believe they tied it to the young Dolph case and trying to find the best way to make him guilty with limited evidence and resources to find him guilty now all the reports are showing that I'm correct about there's a situation going down there in Memphis. People are trying to make people hush up and be quiet. The U.S. Marshal Service, Memphis Police Department, Crime Stoppers, and Tennessee Bureau of Investigation had offered a reward of $15,000 for information. Now, people told me allegedly it's no real reward. It's the quiet game, elimination game. Wipe certain people out and keeping no drops spilled. Johnson was sentenced to the two years for the violation, and the man said he was already, he was ready to get this hearing over because he has a lot going on with the Young Dolph case. That's what he said, and that's what he let them know. But a lot of people are not gonna let that go. They still believe this makes him guilty. They believe this is the open and shut case they've been seeking and waiting for. Me, on the other hand, I said is is it, 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 it leads to more speculations, but also substantiated facts that nobody in this case could be trusted and the main people who can't be trusted is the main key people who are involved in this which is the judicial system that we believe 
is involved in it so at the end of the day i'm going to take my time with this case i'm going to give you guys updates on anything on this case that can give you closure in any type of way i'm gonna still be a real street one and not get anybody indicted not get anybody caught up or locked up you can do a journalism duty and proper cases without getting folks in trouble there's been a lot of corruptions far too much down there with the memphis justice system we're gonna get it done the right way this is your guy dj bless one love your family love your kids and ladies and gentlemen stay blessed